Welcome everyone to another War Thunder video. So today what we're going to be looking at is I think one of the best lineups you can have for grinding out Operation Heat. And if you didn't know Operation Heat is the 2019 summer event. And essentially there are a few different tasks that you need to complete every two days in order to get like the I don't know challenge done and then you can get I don't know it's kind of hard to explain I'm sure you can find out where someone uh, explains it better than me. But essentially, I'm going to take out the RU-254 and the Horton 229V3 because I'm going for both the pilot and the tank tasks. So, the RU-251 is... I chose it because it's both an incredibly fast tank and also it's, like, it's useful. You can do stuff with it. It's not like, I don't know, there's some armoured cars which are fast, but then, first of all, they're cars, so on this terrain, I get to the cap point far, far faster. And also... They're easier to kill and they can't kill as easily, etc. But this tank, because you kind of feel like a scumbag if you just keep rushing caps, etc. Um, and just die immediately. But this tank can hold its own. I've got loads, like, loads of kill games. I haven't actually recorded it, but once I've got the 6 kill game, just with the RU-251. Um, literally in the space of a few minutes. And it's a very capable tank, and it's also unlike other tanks where you can like grind out this kind of event. Also, quite useful for the team, so as you can see, you have the scouting, you have the heat effects, which can be very dangerous um, for the enemy. Uh, you have things like smoke. You're incredibly fast, but also you're fast forwards. But because of that special gearbox, you're equally as fast in reverse as well, so you can get out of six situations, and so on and so forth. Now, things that I like to do with the IU2F1, obviously if it's um, a capture point mode, I rush to the cap point. If it's spread out like this, then I don't really wait for my teammates to just go for it. However, if it's done, so like it's, it's for example in Eastern Europe, if it's done ha where there's essentially three cap points and then one's quite close to each of the bases, then, you know, I'll wait for my team to catch up because there isn't a risk of the enemy capturing that capture point. So as you can see, we are now arriving onto A, where hopefully I can cap. And me capping this now puts me, like, there's obviously the task of uh, capping points. It's 15, I believe. Uh, 15 f per two days. And, I mean, there's obviously there's the killing tank, there's the assists. And essentially, what I'm going for in the RU2 F1 is capturing the points getting the kills and then either assists or the one where you get six kills in one match uh, with a tank. Now six kills in one match it kind of depends how the games go sometimes they go well sometimes they don't and you never really know until you actually go for it however whenever you get a kill or you shoot at someone and you get a hit on them then you know you get an assist or a kill and that contributes of course to your other task as well and if you didn't know, you need to get three tasks per two days in order to unlock the, I don't know, achievement, what is it called? Mark of Distinction. Now, what about the Horton? The Horton is a simply a ridiculous plane. Hopefully, I'll get into it this match, just to show you what, how it is. But it's fast, it's maneuverable, scans are, aren't the best, but they can do some damage. Um, it depends, really. They unfortunately got rid of the full HVAP, um belts but you can do loads of damage to tanks especially lightly armored ones and you can is that a tank there yes it is oh. okay sometimes you do get stuff like that with the scouting oh what a hit what a hit and uh, does he even know where i am nope and he slowed down and boom. there we go okay ice fall down uh Sorry, Horton 29, virtually untouchable unless you play it silly. And you can get pain kills. Tank kills are slightly harder to get just because, like I said, the HVAP rounds, HVAP ammo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let me go get him then. Tonk. Cannon barrel down. Alright, now he's probably going to get back. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to smoke and I'm going to go to the capture point. Now while I'm doing this, I'm doing this so I can get back a crew member and also so my repair time is faster and I'm also safer. You can see the speed of the reverse, you know. I Like it's kind of, am I lagging because of the speed? I think I am. 
okay but reversing back at 50 kilometers per hour that's something that most tanks can't even do going forward i'm going to find myself a safe spot actually this should be good and uh, let me get to crew member and my repair time is six seconds which i didn't know it would like it would be that short but also it's nice to have a crew member but often if I'm close to a cap point and I need to repair I just drive into the cap point just so my repair times are halved now someone's obviously seen that I am here which is kind of worrying because I am not in a good position but I do have my smoke again do I have enough for the Horton? yes I do, good 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 let me so basically oh dear I died okay Right, everyone wanted to get some of me. Where was that actually? SC100P is definitely a, a killable tank. That is, uh, I don't know. It's definitely a killable tank with the Horton 229. So before the Horton 229 with the full HVAC belts, you can get anything from the top. Just ping, 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 and then that's it. But they obviously changed the can sounds. They changed their belts. So for every other MK103 cannon, you have... Uh, yeah, but playing with, the, with those cannons you have the full HVAC belts but the Horton note which I can understand because that, that would honestly be far too overpowered is an A2D which is some people say it's an overpowered plane um, is it well we'll soon see won't we it's definitely not as fast as the Horton uh, not as movable as the Horton okay one second my mouse was like blocked by my speakers uh, so I would have got the kill otherwise the ATD can obviously climb a fair bit, uh, quite well rather, but not as good as the Horton. It's not as fast as the Horton either. And uh, he he's played it smart, he has played it smart. Um, now, do I want to engage in an turning battle with the ATD? Yes and no. Um, because obviously I don't want the ATD flying around killing my teammates. But I also, ooh, is that a tank that I can easily kill? But I think it is, it's a T29. Now I'm, I'm going to go from above this because that is easier with the T29. Now I haven't, I didn't change my convergence, which I really should have. My convergence is far too close. Okay, I want to dodge the A2D, so I'm just going to kick it into a slight turn like this, and over. Cool. Now where's that T29? That's not a T29. That's an IS3 slash four. I don't know. One of those tanks. Okay. A2D is behind me. See, I'm not really showing off my plane's capabilities um, in this video because of this ATD, um, which is kind of frustrating. But uh, he's soon going to die because I'm going to go into a climb, 15 degrees, just to further stall him out. I can sustain this climb for a fair while, but can he? No, I mean, you can clearly see that he's falling behind. Oh, I'll move my mouse again. Where is he? Nope. At this range, you can quite easily dodge those rounds if you're practiced. And I have uh, my elevators obviously bound to keys, so I can just do a little jiggle jiggle. I'll just go up further. And further. Oh dear. Ah, oh, I'm at the airfield. That is not good. So I turn, and I dodge. I'm not going to go for a head-on, because the Horton and head-on don't really mix. Oh, ouchie. Okay, that's embarrassing. Now... Obviously it wasn't my fault because I had to turn because of his airfield. Wait, was that? Okay, well he's Russian so I can't tell him that I have to turn because of the airfield. Anyway, um, on to game two. Okay, so here we are, second game. American Desert. Now American Desert is another one of these maps where it's quite easy for you to uh, rush the cap point. So I'm probably going to, it's what I usually do, take the left spawn point. Uh, literally run down the track and cap A so I suppose when we actually load I'll be able to show you but then again we first need to load yeah okay cool alright so American Desert in terms of map I don't know it's, it's decent it is nice it's, it's, it's a decent map I mean they are better they are worse okay this volume is low one second, why am I lagging? Oh, it's a full up tier as well, 7.7. 7. Um, of course, I am taking out the Horton 229. Horton 229, funnily enough, people... Sorry, let me just... Uh, I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Let me just... Uh, 
sort out uh, the lag issue so people complain maybe about it being 7.3 I, I haven't actually heard anyone complain about it being 7.3 but before it was actually 8.0 a horse in 2-9 now was it playable at 8.0? yeah probably um, I remember that was when I was properly grinding out for planes like the MiG-15 Viz this was years and years ago and you know I remember once got a kill against the hunter in a head-on and that in a horde was like whoa <laughs> I think then I died when I, uh, and I crashed, um, so, yeah, okay, cool, so I captured the zone, and now hopefully, hopefully now I can actually show off the Horton 229's capabilities, I still need to do a bit more running around, now often what I do in this map is I then make a B line for B, I get it, because it's a B line, now often when I'm playing I'm also not lagging and I honestly don't know why because usually like even sometimes when I'm busy rendering large videos and uploading etc they are capturing B um, I don't lag but for some reason today I am okay that guy was just killed I suppose now we are in full combat mode Roger oh dear no problems bro problem problem Okay. There we go. There we go. Gonna load the gun. Load the water hits. Okay. Good, good. Now I saw someone to his right, my left. I can't repair this guy. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Now the thing is with this map, I don't know it too too well, so I'm basically running all over the place. Okay, he needs a repair. Okay, cool. You see, this is I'm being useful, I'm being a good teammate. And okay, and an assist. You know what? This works. This does work. Now, uh, what we're probably going to do now is I'm going to go round to B. Now, this is good for many, multiple reasons. So, as you can see, there's an enemy here. But oh, he did not expect that. So is that a Vickers? I think it is a Vickers. And man, he's dead. Uh, so essentially what I'm doing is uh okay sorry I'm, I'm focusing on the map as well here this is the difficulty with doing live commentary um but essentially what I'm doing is whoa 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 what was that but what I'm doing is um I just flank around uh, the rear mm -hmm. okay flank around the rear and now I'm capping the B point so again this is all very useful stuff not only well of course this is a premium so I do make a fair bit of money in RP and I'm researching like the Yag Panther is it now uh, my German tank line isn't as developed as my plane line which is actually <coughs> sorry my German aviation I know I've been hit is actually nearly finished let's scout this Oh yeah, it is. But ah, uh, sorry. Uh, bro, I can't kill you. T four one one four. So that was close to B. Now, obviously, I mean, <coughs> it's a slight. Ha! Uh, I got another intelligence uh, thing. So obviously, T one one four. It's a sly tank. Small. I wasn't looking that way. I mean, I was busy focusing on the lag and me playing and me commentating, which, as you can imagine, isn't too diff uh, isn't too easy. Now all we have here is a situation where there are four enemy planes, which is awkward. Now that plane up there, I'm not going to engage just because. Uh, actually, let me check which plane it is because I am one of the faster planes at this BR, and often in tank RB people take down lower tier planes like P47s, etc., um, which are really like no threat at all. I mean, I say that, but then the A2D did kill me. Things like that, P80 or F80A, whatever they call it now, are a threat. Okay, that 84 is dead. Let's go up. Now there is a plane behind me, and to be honest, are those? Hmm. That seems like a P80. Um, I am faster than the P80, but I'm not too comfortable again going towards him. So I'm going to turn around. So I'm going towards the air airfield. So I'm going to turn around. Uh, can I see that plane? Oh yeah, he's one there. Okay, cool, cool. I'm just going to run. 
Uh, when I see one, obviously I don't mean like one away just to get some separation. That's a Spitfire Mark 24, whom I missed. Okay. Right, I honestly have not that, like, I don't really know what to do here. Um, is that Usharado? Is that the B2? So nice. So, so even more useless than a normal. Okay, never mind. I suppose we'll do some turning, but I've lost the guy, so I don't know where he's at. Here he is. Okay, let's get the air brakes out. <laughs> this is a legendary plane right here. How how dare he even attempt to with a mouse? Attempt to fight this plane? Well, I've, I've lost him again. Okay, you know what? I've found another target though. Hopefully my antics. Okay, he's dead. I love this game. Okay, where is he? He's there. And so, and over. You can see how maneuverable this plane is. Um, but now one of my engines is dead. And I've lost the guy again because my mouse won't turn properly. So, I mean, <sighs> the Horton is a ridiculous plane. You can see this here. Like, normally it would be dead. Like, if I have a plane with 50 cows on me, like, on my 6, then it's death. It's death. Um, I don't know why I didn't outrun him though. But yeah, I'm too slow now to dodge him effectively. Yeah, it is a P80. Or an F80A. I'm just going to keep calling them P80s now from now on. Okay, so this. The classic rudder turn. Does he think I'm dead? That is awkward. I'm basically dead though. Now this is a shame because I did ideally want to leave it at two matches this video, but like I need to show off the Hort uh, the Horton Suit Nine properly. It's full capabilities. Like I'm pretty sure the game before this I got four kills in the Horton Suit Nine, um, which in case you didn't know is one of the tasks for um, Operation Heat, getting four kills in an aircraft uh, against players, obviously. Um, but I got that, and that's because the Horton Suit Nine is a ridiculous plane. You know it. Okay. Uh, is the other family who's I really really need to land? Ah, uh, there's a plane behind me. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. F eighty A. Okay, now thing is, I might still have enough spawn points to go in my RU. Yes, I do. Okay. Now there's, there's, there's like the people around here, so I'm going to go here, around here. A seems to be contested, but is it? I don't know. All right. Let's see. Now, like I said, it's a shame about the Horton 229. Um, and I will probably have to go into a uh, third game just to show that off properly to you. But um, overall, obviously, Operation Heat is just a grindy um, event. You need to play loads for it so in order to get anything. You can't just uh, not do anything. Okay, who's he shooting at? Okay, can you, like. When people shoot, I automatically follow their traces, so I can actually, you know, help them. But, uh, oh, that's rock. Um, but, uh, yeah, please don't just shoot. Like, be useful. Either way, like I was saying, Operation Heat is a grindy uh, event. Hmm, what's around here, I wonder? Oh, that's also another. Thank you. One at a time, one at a time. I saw traces around here. I full on can't see that tank though. Okay, I might need to go round B. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, it has to be driver. Okay, one second. I mean, he's literally just showing me his position. But he doesn't know where I am. There's another thing with the RU. Like, look at this. Like, oh, where are you? Oh. <coughs> I did shoot, but... Okay. Oh, well, let's go into a third game, I suppose. I mean, this game is ridiculous anyway. Um, but we are going to win. So, that's also another one of the tasks for Operation Heat. Okay, and as you can see, just by grinding out uh, Operation Heat, I got myself a Yag Panther. Now, am I going to use a Yag Panther? No. Okay, but you know it's nice, and now I have uh, unlocked a box tank, uh, the premium, amazing, well it's not premium box tank. So yeah, okay. Well, I suppose I'll see you um, in. Okay, here we battle. are in Domination uh, Karelia, which is a decent map. 
I don't know too much about it for the like with the IU251 because tanks like I use I play it a lot in the SCRV. SCRV is quite adept at uh, maps like this Corellia because of the um, APDS, the missiles, etc. You can get into those hold like hold, when I say hold down, I don't mean like a hold down position, but this is you can easily hold. You have a good um, view on the enemy. The IU251 that's not really its play style. Like okay, sure you can get into nice positions, but what we really want to be doing is getting into those flanking positions. Oh, I didn't choose a pawn. Oh, no. I wanted to get to the left spawn so I can capture C. Oh well, I guess I'll have to capture A. Let me go this way. Now if I had my smoke shells, I would have uh, popped smoke over here because that's where everyone goes. And the enemy obviously knows this. Luckily, because I have the IU-251, I might be able to just rush in quickly. Uh, let me rush, rush, rush. Okay, cool. I think I am safe-ish. But yeah, because um, Corellia is known for having like that. Because uh, that's why I don't really like to spawn in that spawn. And obviously on the other side. Just because often what happens is the two sides face off with each other and then you shoot. And so I don't know. I prefer my playstyle is more of a flanky style, you know. So that's what I'm doing. Going for A. Now, because I believe people who would have otherwise went for A went for B first, that's from the enemy, I should have an advantage. I should be able to um, uh, capture this initially. Is this a capture square? It's not even a circle. It's this. That's nice. I quite like that. Okay, I got to hit. Okay, now this is kind of scary just because um, I am by myself and there are multiple avenues of attack. And I hear... Okay, there's artillery as well. The i one is decent when facing against artillery. There's a tank. Whoa, 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 who's shooting? What the hell? The BT-5? Get out of him. How about you take your tank into, you know... Actual 2.3. Well, what rank is it? I don't know. This kind of people annoy me. Like, was he shooting at me? So then I would stop. So you can also get the captain. No. No. Like uh, that, that. That guy. There appears to be a tank over there. Oh, a T92. That is extra spicy. Ah, so he also sees me. Yeah, he does. He does. Let's uh. Okay. Two T92s. That is interesting. Uh, I don't have my artillery, otherwise I would have popped them. This is tense. Um, is that a tank? Okay. Okay. So we have a another tank as well. He he obviously wants to. Okay. Well, uh, pop smoke. Um, okay. Too late. All right. Well, I should have enough for the Horton. I do. I should have shot him. Uh, that was silly. me being silly. Obviously, with these two vehicles, you need to have a theory of skill to use them. The IU-251, I know for certain, is not an easy tank to play. But what I like about it is its playstyle is similar to how you play top tier tanks. Um, just because of their speed. Oh, look, yet yeah, another intelligence thing. Um, yeah, just because of its speed, its um, agility, its firepower. Top tier, obviously. Um, you need to play it as if uh, you're going to be penetrated by everything. Don't take that the wrong way, please. But it's just the tanks at top tier, their cannons are so good that uh, you're going to die if you uh, just think, oh, I can just rely on my armor. Obviously, your armor does sometimes bounce, but it's, it's unreliable. It's not like something you should rely on. Oh, why is my convergence that hot, like that low? Now the Horton 229 again, what a nice plane. Now you might have uh, not known but this plane was my gliding plane for a long long time for basically German, uh, back then it was the, oh man, how did I miss that, that was, I think that's a T114, but it was my gliding plane for the MiG-15, the, well, up to the MiG-15, so that's the HG-162, the comets and the not the 262 I don't think I reached that far but those kind of planes so okay, I don't think I can pen that that wasn't what I thought it was so 
you know, I'm used to Horton. It's changed a lot during that time. And um, back then, what I used to do, I used to, in uh, Air Rugby, just mop the ground of tanks. Just, like, just kill them. Kill those. Sometimes I'd actually, like, myself win the game. Just by killing however many tanks it was. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording just so I don't... Okay, so hopefully this is better. Yeah. So, see, why did I drop then to God knows what FPS? And then I immediately, when I started recording, went to 100. And now I'm back at... You know what? This computer is silly. It is silly. Like, sometimes I'm recording and rendering videos and then... Okay. Okay, well, got an assist. Oh, yeah, that wasn't on the ZSU. Um, sometimes I'm recording and I'm rendering and then... You know, I'm like, okay, let me uh, let me record a video, and then it records fine. And now this, there's literally no background process. Okay, that's a P47. Let me uh, get that brother. Okay, I critted the thing. Uh, where's the P47? I ah, uh, there it is. So now we're going to see this uh, plane's uh, capabilities against uh, other planes. So you can see that. Okay, I'm lagging first of all. You can see that the P-47, so the Horton 29, the cannons aren't exactly optimized for um, uh, fighting against uh, air targets. Okay, I have, what, how do, it's the lag, I'm telling you it's the lag. The cannons aren't really optimized for fighting against air targets, just because they are kind of awkwardly placed and they're slow firing. So for firing, fighting against air targets, I would prefer the MK-108, I should have, I don't know why I didn't, hmm. I would prefer the MK 108s just because of their. I mean, sure, they are kind of more difficult to aim. Well, not the more difficult, but they are difficult to aim. But, oh, come on. How? How? He's just like shooting his phone stream at me. Okay, I need to. Okay. I do have a problem with the computer. Let me just. Uh, let me just uh, work out any background processes. Just delete them. One second. Okay, for some reason, uh, my recording froze as. Uh, I was trying to record and so I crashed. So anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry about the end. And uh, basically for Operation Heat, just try to play the game. Play it. Um, sometimes you need to focus on specifically the objectives. See, I, I crashed for no apparent reason. I, I, I think it's Norton thinking, ah, oh, the computer's idle. Let me do some background stuff. That's like, no, it, it's not. I'm trying to record. Are you serious? What do you think? Okay. Anyway, one second. Let me let me let me just finish off the video. Da -da. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's look at the achievements if I can actually get there. So, essentially, I need to destroy those player vehicles. Twenty-three for RB, which isn't too bad. Um, I don't usually take out the IU to find to kill those um, vehicles. Those vehicles, 15 points. That's the one I'm mostly aiming for. Halfway there, or nearly halfway there, and that's only from a few matches. I'd obviously usually uh, play far more. Assists, you know, coming along. Victories as well, coming along. Uh, this one, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Six kills is uh, is achievable. I think I believe I got it in this one and also this one as well. I got four in uh, the first day, and let's see the pilots. Okay, so already obviously I got the one where I destroyed four in a battle. That's for the Horton as well. Defeating players again, it's not too many. Come on, and you know assisting allies, gaining victories. That's usual. That's fine. That's just with playing the bombing. Okay, I didn't actually destroy a bomb that much, but that's when I was recording the HE177 game. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and really sorry about the lag, but hope to see you soon anyway.